Good evening and welcome back to City News, your favourite channel. Now look at me, I am in the Rugby World Cup attire. This is the first day that we've got the volunteers in my workforce centre. Now do you want to have a look at that? Come through here, I'll show you. Voila! So this is the workforce centre where all the volunteers will be checking in and out over the next two months. Getting their food, getting their briefs on what they need to do out and about in the city. So you'll see volunteers around the city, out at the airport, in the city, um, at the fan zones, at the energy event centre and in the workforce centre right here. So um, this is the place to be. So rocking and rolling into the Rugby World Cup. Now I hope you know that we have the great Rugby World drop on this weekend, so tomorrow down at the Village Green. So make sure you head on down to that. Purchase your ball for $2. They can be purchased at the convention centre here or you can actually purchase them down at the field. Um, there'll be a helicopter that'll be dropping all these, these um, not balloons, balls and basically whatever balls land in the middle of these three circles get a prize. There's also going to be amazing entertainment down there as well so make sure that you head on down to the Village Green on the 10th to look at that a great family day out we also have what is it it is the first game for Rotorua so It'll be the Fiji versus Namibia game starting at 3.30 down at the International Stadium. So make sure that you go on down there and support that game. And behind me, I actually have the lovely ladies that are organising the Rotor Entertains too. So for the Rugby World Cup, these guys help out with the face painters, the samba drummers, the stilt walkers, the poi dancers and a whole lot more. So you have to make sure that um, you go down to these events and experience the Rotor Entertains people. Um, these two ladies and a couple of others make it all happen. So thank you for staying tuned and we will get back into the events for the coming week. So as I mentioned, we have the Pool D Fiji versus Namibia on Saturday. Have you purchased your tickets yet? If not, get cracking. Be part of celebrating the sporting event in New Zealand, yes, the Rugby World Cup. Dress up and join the action at Rotorua International Stadium. There's a designed walking route and free public transport will also be provided, allowing you to take full advantage of acti activities happening prior to and post the ga post game. From 3:30 p.m. to 5:30 p.m. at the International Stadium, you can purchase tickets here at the Convention Centre. Um, we also have the great rugby ball drop, which I talked about as well. So down at the Village Green, a thousand mini rugby balls as at a target with the closest three balls winning prizes from 9am to 1pm. Conservation Week's also taking place. There's a planting day at Mount Nongatau on Saturday from 9 till 12 p.m. So planting day for people of all ages and abilities. There'll be native plants that have been donated by Van Dyke's Flooring Extra and Rotary District Council. Now we also have on Sunday a walk in the forest, a part of Conservation Week. It's an early morning walk and it's $5 through the Karo of Conservation Area. You must book, that's essential, so book or have a look online for further information. We also have the Makoya Islands Local Day, Locals Day on Sunday at a cost of $35. So rekindle memories of Makoya Island, walk the summit of the lower track to hear and observe the bird life flora and fauna and learn the history of this peaceful environment. Not only do we have the Conservation Week, we've also got, got Kids Fish Out, the Rotary Anglers Association on Sunday from 9am to 3pm. So with parents, with parents with children aged between 6 years and 14 have an opportunity to pursue an outdoor activity, learn techniques using a rod and reel and then get your very own rainbow trout. There's also sausages or soft drinks, teas and coffees available out there, $3 um, to do that. There's also the Blues at Brews Bar on Sunday, so live music with the Mike Garner Band, handcrafted beer, pizza and acoustic blues from 4pm, no cover charge. Head on down and have a look at Mike, he's amazing. Conservation Week also kicks in next week Monday, so meet the Kiwi Keeper, so you can actually see a real life Kiwi eat and how they survive and go on a Kiwi ear hunt. Um, this is mainly for younger children 4 to 10 years old from 4 to 5 at Rainbow Springs. There is a cost of $10. Now Amnesty International Street Appeal, they're coming again on Tuesday at the City Focus and it's a worldwide movement of people who campaign for internationally recognised human rights. So their Street Appeal will be on the 13th of September. 
Now, as I mentioned, Rugby World Cup is in full swing, and the, on Wednesday we also have Samoa versus Namibia. Make sure you get your tickets to this game as well. This will be heaps of fun. There's a walking route and free public transport outside the convention centre um, from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. There's also a boat party on Wednesday. Now, this is definitely definitely a unique way to celebrate and party in Rotorua. Join us on Lake Queen for over a three-hour cruise on Lake Rotorua. We'll put on a festive atmosphere and announce soon who will be our entertainment for the night. And you'll be in town watching some Maui play in Namibia from 8pm to 12am. Now, Sun and Stars, this is a Rugby World Cup initiative, so join us at the City Focus for the Samoa versus Namibia game. Um, there'll be face painting and all of our Rotorua entertains people down there. Learn more about both countries and join in the entertainment, including the OGO Challenge. With competitions and a chance to meet Miss Samoa, this is the place to be. It all starts at 10am to 12pm at the City Focus. On Thursday we have the Niwa Bay of Plenty Science and Technology Fair, so this showcases science experiments and inventions of intermediate and high school students from the Western Bay of Plenty region. Top students from this event will be eligible to take part in the national competition and realise the dream. See the website for entry forms, rules, exhibition and opening hours from 8am to 6pm. Friday next week we go into the first fan zone. No. Is it the first fan zone? No, well, New Zealand versus Japan anyway on Friday. The perfect family outing. Come along and enjoy a two-hour showcase of great local entertainment. There are the famous Kiwiana and Asia. There will be prize draws on the night, including the best-dressed team or family of tour of four. We also have a kiddie zone to keep the active ones entertained. We go into the Gypsy Fair, which <laughs> is Friday, Saturday and Sunday next week. So have a look down at them at the Village Green. And finally, we finish off with the Red Stag Redwoods Forest Relay. Um, this is open to members of running and walking clubs, school, corporate and social teams over a distance of five kilometres for adults and 3.2 for youth teams. So that's out at um, Whakarewarewa Forest. And here are some of my lovely volunteers that are helping out during Rugby World Cup. They have just been out and about. Here's Tony, Vivian, that's um, Kay and Wallow, who's not looking at the moment. But anyway, these are our fabulous volunteers for Rugby World Cup and they are helping us out to make Rotorua have a fantastic time. So um, make sure that you come down to the games that are on, especially this weekend on Saturday. And for further information, go online to www.rotorua.nz.com forward slash events to find out more about what's happening in your city. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.